Hi, this is Dan Nickerson, and in this Acme Traffic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress via cPanel on a new domain. Uh, you can see right here that I'm on a, actually on a blank site, and if you had just uh, registered a domain name and set up hosting, most likely your domain is going to look like this. And what this is, it's a directory page that essentially shows you that nothing is in the directory right now except the CGI bin. Uh, so what you want to do is you need to actually go to cPanel. Now, if your host sent you instructions, they almost always send you instructions to, to access via cPanel. Uh, if you're on a host that doesn't have cPanel, they'll almost always have instructions on how to set up WordPress using their own uh, web hosting manager. But to get to cPanel on a new domain, you would just type in cPanel. It's not going to appear in a directory structure. Uh, when you type in cPanel, actually it's going to redirect to another little uh, address here as well, so don't be concerned about that. And then you'd enter in your username and it's almost always the first eight letters of your domain name just so you know and you might want to change that for security reasons but it's almost always the first eight letters and uh, the next thing we're going to do is type in the password so I'll type in the password that I created at sign up and I'm gonna log in and it's gonna ask me to remember that I'm just gonna remember that for now and then the first thing that cPanel does is they'll pop up this little message for you welcome new user uh, do you need to help get, get started and you can say no I'm fine thanks uh, you can always view the tutor video tutorials later, and uh, I'm going to do another video for cPanel uh, as well. But this one is all about WordPress. So to install WordPress, there's two ways we can do this. <clears throat> a lot of people think that they need to go to WordPress.org and do something, and, and you really don't. cPanel almost always comes with Fantastico, and Fantastico is essentially a software suite that installs, installs a lot of different kinds of software for your domain or scripts for your domain very easily in just a couple of clicks. Uh, you can install via Fantastico, and there's also a way you can install using uh, MySQL databases. And so that's a whole another another tutorial. And I'm just going to assume that you have Fantastico because most all major web hosts do. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to scroll down. And we're going to look for software and services here, and you'll see it says Fantastico Deluxe. If you don't see it, you can use a little Control F and type in Fan, and it'll take you right uh, there as well. You can also search on this whole section by clicking. Uh, typing in a word and searching here as well. I'm going to click on Fantastico and it's going to load up the next screen for me. And This is going to show you all the different kinds of scripts and stuff that you can install via uh, Fantastico. So it's pretty cool. There's different uh, types of um, help desk systems, there's discussion boards, there's e-commerce e cards. All, all of this is for free but uh, far and above uh, everything else is WordPress and so the only thing you really should be installing is WordPress. So I'm going to click on WordPress, and you're going to see here it has a short description about WordPress and how you can learn more about it. And there's also a WordPress support forum where you can get almost any WordPress qu question answered as well. And then finally you're going to see new installation, and this is current installations. It shows that I have none installed. And it shows you that the disk space required is 10.73 megabyte, which means you have plenty of disk space. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on new installation and then it's going to bring me to this screen which might look a little confusing to some people but it's really not if you leave this blank WordPress will be installed in your main directory which means that your WordPress install will appear at myblogsetup.com if you put in another one like say you want to do it in blog it's going to appear at myblogsetup.com slash blog most people choose to have it in the root directory but say for example that you have a sales page on your main site you may want a, a blog on, on another directory uh, what I do a lot of times too is I'll have a members download area or something like that. So I would install WordPress in a, in a directory called members and then my sales page might be uh, you know, the main section of my website. These days there's so much you can do with WordPress that literally it just doesn't make sense to really install it anywhere but your, your main directory because you can set any page you want to be a front page uh, and it just gives you, you know, more versatility down the road. So I just leave that blank and by the way if you had a subdomain your subdomain would actually appear in here. There's actually another test that I did earlier. So that's actually a subdomain that's appearing here, uh, which you can install. So you can install in subdomains sub, sub or even add-on domains. So if you use Control Panel as an add-on domain, your add-on domain will appear here. And make sure you select that if you want to install WordPress on an add-on domain. OK, the next thing we're going to do is gonna, we're going to set up a uh, admin username and password. So I'm just going to type in. Uh, MBS admin for my blog setup admin and then for password you can see this so I will change this after I'm just going to change it to MBS pass and I'll change that once I log in the admin nickname is going to be something that you want to appear in posts so in other words if you make a new post it's going to say posted by admin 
So you might want to use your name, you might want to use um, your keyword. It could be anything you want. If it's a company, you could put the company name in there. Most people end up just typing in admin. Um, but you know, if you know it's going to be all your personal posts, you can just type in your name. Finally, there's an admin email address. Now this can be any address that you want to get notifications to. So for example, I could just say, you know, admin at you know my blog setup.com. Just make sure you have the actual email address set up. And that is where all the notifications, if someone leaves a comment or someone registers for your site, that's where those notif notifications are going to come. No one's going to actually see that address, but that's where they can send you email. And then the site name would be whatever you want to call it. So I could just say it's my blog setup. And description will be a sub a tagline that'll appear. So usually it's usually just the tagline that appears in a header or actually appears in the title of your uh, website as well. So I could just say how to set up your WordPress blog. And that's it. And now all I have to do is click on install WordPress and it's going to install for me and it tells me that it's created a database for me which is great and that it's installed in the main directory which is what I wanted. And now I can click on finish installation and it's going to be finished in about two seconds. Still waiting. Okay so now it's finished. This just tells me a little things that it's done. It's actually configured the config file for me and it's actually uh, imported the SQL file for me so that it could have some default information in here. And then finally what you should do is if you enter in your email address here for example if I entered in admin at myblogsetup.com WordPress is actually going to send me an email with this information. So I can click on send email and it will send me an email with that information. I'm going to go back and then essentially it just uh, tells me that now I have it installed. So it's version 3.1, it's installed on the site and I can click on visit site and it takes me to my blog setup and this is the default install the 2010 theme for WordPress. And so that is how you install WordPress via Fantastico. In my next video, I'll show you how to set up WordPress on the back end.